Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. In recent years, the Chinese Navy has made significant breakthroughs in enhancing its anti-aircraft and anti-submarine combat capabilities. With the exposure of the PLA second-generation anti-submarine aircraft, the AS-200, the Chinese Navy has ushered in a new era of long-range airborne anti-submarine warfare. This marks a milestone in the Chinese Navy's anti-submarine capabilities, making it a reality that enemy submarines cannot hide. The appearance of the AS-200 fills the gap in China's naval aviation anti-submarine capabilities, laying a solid foundation for further enhancing the Chinese Navy's underwater combat capabilities. These are the questions that have aroused the interest of military enthusiasts and readers. 1. What technological breakthroughs and innovations does the AS-200 anti-submarine patrol aircraft have? What other significant improvements compared to the first-generation anti-submarine aircraft? 2. How does the conversion of the Yun-9 tactical transport aircraft into a carrier aircraft improve the performance and combat duty capability of the anti-submarine patrol aircraft? 3. What is the scale of the Chinese Navy's anti-submarine aircraft equipment and its impact on the Navy's underwater combat capabilities? What challenges will these anti-submarine aircraft face in future development? For a long time, anti-aircraft and anti-submarine warfare have been the two major weaknesses of the Chinese Navy. Later, with the successive commissioning of ships such as the 052C, the D, and 055, Class destroyers and the 054A Air class frigates, the air defense loopholes were completely filled, making the Chinese Navy's surface air defense capability advance from a third rate Navy to a first rate Navy in less than 20 years, second only to the US Navy in the world. However, the situation is not optimistic in terms of anti submarine warfare. Although dedicated anti submarine frigates such as the 054A, and 056A have been successively developed and commissioned. This only addresses one aspect of surface anti submarine warfare, leaving a significant gap in China's naval aviation anti submarine capabilities. Historically, the Chinese Navy has relied on a few non anti submarine capable SH 5 anti submarine aircraft to perform anti submarine missions, leaving long range airborne anti submarine warfare basically blank. This situation remained unchanged until the appearance of the AS-200 anti-submarine aircraft, entering the 21st century, in order to compensate for its insufficient long-range anti-submarine warfare capabilities. The Chinese Navy decisively adopted a dual-pronged strategy. On the one hand, efforts were made to develop new anti-submarine missiles, which were later extensively equipped on 054A frigates and referred to as the U-Tate anti-submarine missile. On the other hand, the Chinese Navy also initiated a project to independently develop anti-submarine patrol aircraft. Due to the persistent airborne presence, extensive operational range, and large fuel capacity of anti-submarine patrol aircraft, as well as their ability to carry a variety of attack equipment including torpedoes, missiles, and precision-guided bombs, and to perform daily surface surveillance tasks, they became a critical type of aircraft urgently needed by the Navy. After careful consideration and research, the equipment department of the PLA chose to further develop a dedicated anti-submarine patrol aircraft based on the domestically produced Unite High Tech Project Third Class Platform, namely the AS-200 anti-submarine patrol aircraft. As the first generation of anti-submarine patrol aircraft of the Chinese Navy, the AS-200 is equipped with domestically produced integrated information processing systems. Advanced sonar buoys and signal processors, sea search radars, and a series of high tech equipment such as magnetic anomaly detectors. In addition, its fuselage is designed with a large weapons bay, capable of carrying various anti submarine weapons such as torpedoes and self guided depth charges, enhancing the Chinese Navy's underwater combat capabilities. Due to the excellent basic performance of the Yun rate model, its development process was relatively smooth. In recent years, this model of aircraft has successively joined the naval aviation forces under the three major fleets, performing daily combat standby tasks. Thanks to its outstanding performance, it has received positive evaluations from the Navy.
Recently, the new domestically produced anti-submarine patrol aircraft made its first public appearance. Based on the Yun A9 tactical transport aircraft platform, it is equipped with the latest detection and anti-submarine equipment and weapon systems, resulting in a significant improvement in overall combat capability compared to the currently in-service Yun. 8 anti-submarine patrol aircraft. Compared with the previous AS-200, this new generation of anti-submarine aircraft has undergone significant design adjustments, with a larger nose, smaller chin, and longer, narrower tail. The Union 9 is developed based on the advanced project of Union 8, drawing on the latter's operational experience and carrying out a series of optimizations and developments becoming a new generation of tactical transport aircraft for the Chinese Air Force and Navy. At the same time, considering factors such as flight training and logistic support, domestically produced second-generation special aircraft have also begun to use the Yunu-9 as an improved platform. Anti-submarine patrol aircraft are one of the largest fleets of special aircraft in China. With China's vast territorial waters, the scale of anti-submarine patrol aircraft should be around 100 aircraft. Therefore, the People's Navy has decided to use the Yun-9 as a carrier aircraft for the second-generation anti-submarine patrol aircraft to reduce the difficulty of flight training and logistic support, as well as to lower costs and expenses. The Yun-9 anti-submarine patrol aircraft has not only changed the carrier aircraft, but also upgraded and improved its onboard equipment. First of all, its nose radar has been replaced with an active phased array radar. An obvious feature of the AS-200 anti-submarine patrol aircraft is its large chin, which houses its sea search radar, while its nose retains meteorological and navigation radars. A major highlight of the design of the Yun-9 anti-submarine patrol aircraft is the installation of a single large radar dome on its nose. This detail indicates that the aircraft is equipped with an updated sea search radar system, which not only has excellent performance and powerful functions, but also, through integrated design, provides search capabilities that previously required multiple radars on the Yun-8 anti-submarine patrol aircraft. In addition, a unique feature of the AS-200 anti-submarine patrol aircraft is the prominent magnetic anomaly detector installed at its tail which has undergone significant improvements in this regard in the new generation UNU-9. Compared with previous models, the magnetic anomaly detector of the UNU-9 is more compact, significantly reducing its size. This indicates that its detection technology has been improved, and its sensitivity and detection effectiveness have been significantly enhanced. In the latest PA-8A Poseidon anti-submarine patrol aircraft of the US Navy, we can even see a trend. Traditional large-size magnetic anomaly detectors have been removed and replaced with small sensors that are often overlooked. This further demonstrates the advanced level and efficiency of modern detector technology. Another subtle but important change in the design of the Yun-9 anti-submarine patrol aircraft is the addition of fairings on both sides of the wingtips, which typically means that electronic devices have been installed in these positions. Equipment located at the wingtips is generally electronic reconnaissance systems, which use short baseline time difference methods to accurately determine the position of enemy radiation sources. The advantage of this technology is its simple structure and excellent performance, which can effectively counter the threat of phased array radars. The combat standby of the UN-9 anti-submarine patrol aircraft is on the front line of maritime defense, with a large combat radius and long endurance. After being equipped with a new domestic electronic reconnaissance system, it can conduct electronic reconnaissance while patrolling, analyze intercepted electronic signals, determine the opponent's position, and assess their performance and nature. This information can help us understand the distribution of the opponent's electronic equipment, thereby inferring their deployment, intentions, and movements. The UN-9 anti-submarine patrol aircraft adopts a series of domestic high-tech achievements with significantly improved overall performance compared to the AS-200 anti-submarine patrol aircraft, and its service will greatly enhance the Chinese Navy's underwater combat capabilities. Its speed is much higher than that of propeller aircraft, with stronger responsiveness. For the Navy, the introduction of the AS-200 undoubtedly greatly enhances the underwater combat capabilities.
Its appearance signifies that the Chinese Navy has made a qualitative leap in anti-submarine power, enabling better protection of the country's maritime rights and interests. However, with technological advancements, enemy submarines are also continuously upgrading their technologies. Therefore, the AS-200 will still face many challenges on future battlefields. The appearance of the AS-200 is not only a milestone in China's military technology but also an important footnote to the changes in modern naval warfare. Its technological breakthroughs and innovations provide the Chinese Navy with a more powerful anti-submarine force. However, faced with the increasingly complex battlefield environment in the future, we need to continue to innovate technically and adjust our strategies to ensure that the AS-200 remains in a leading position and makes greater contributions to defending the country's maritime borders. Finally, let me summarize for the readers, hoping you have gained some insights and thoughts. As a senior blogger, I believe that the geopolitical risks brought about by the Chinese military competition should be of global concern. With the exposure of the new Chinese Navy anti-submarine patrol aircraft, we see China continuously enhancing its military strength and expanding its presence in the maritime domain. This trend not only threatens the stability of the Asia-Pacific region but also has far-reaching implications for global security. First, the escalation of Chinese military competition may trigger regional tensions, especially with its neighboring countries. Second, this competition may stimulate other countries' arms expansion, further exacerbating geopolitical competition. Most importantly, this military competition may increase the risk of misjudgment and military confrontation, bringing uncertainty to regional and global security. We should take a rational and calm attitude towards China's military competition, avoid regional conflicts, and jointly maintain regional peace and stability. At the same time, the international community should seek more open and transparent arms control mechanisms to reduce the geopolitical risks brought about by military competition. Finally, I would like to ask how to balance the relationship between national security and regional stability. And how should the international community collectively respond to the challenges of geopolitical competition? That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye.